Hey everybody, before we get into the unboxing video, I just want to apologize for the audio quality. Uh, there were some motherboard and Windows updates that didn't play nicely with my, my, my microphone and created some popping artifacts in the background. Uh, I still wanted to post the video because I can't put the cards back in the box, and so you can have opportunity at the uh, giveaway presented in the video. So uh, thanks for understanding, and enjoy the video. Welcome to Von He-Man's Trading Card Game Happy Hour. Uh, so in the past two months, as a 30-year-old man, I have become addicted to Magic the Gathering Arena. And with it, of course, it comes with regular card unboxing that everyone loves doing right now. And at least Magic the Gathering is pretty available to find. So I'm really happy to start this out and, you know, get a good hobby going uh, with what we're doing here. So for today's unboxing, we're going to be opening up some uh, Caltime uh, set boost, booster packs. I'll bring it right over here so everybody can see. Got a whole box of them ready to go. Guaranteed foil and art card in each pack. So it's gonna be really exciting going going through all, all those, seeing what we're gonna get get out of it. And special giveaway. Since um you know I got probably gonna open up a lot of cards right here. Um try to you know boost my channel, have 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 some fun with it. Uh the first 10 new subscribers subscribe to the channel uh youtube slash uh, von he-man and also to follow me on twitter like find me at, at von he-man uh will get any card of their choice uh first come first serve so if you're the first person to subscribe and follow on twitter uh you get the first dibs at any card any card that i pull uh out of out of this pack uh and in addition i will also uh send it in this awesome uh protector sleeve sorry focus a little bad there we go focus on this uh these super metal art looking cal time protector sleeves uh, i'll i'll, I'll show, I'll show them with the camp with the uh car camera view as well uh totally include included with the card i thought these were awesome i found them online when i was shopping for cards and um so metal looking i i, I love the way that they look and i hope i hope you do too so again Subscribe to my channel. Uh, follow me. Follow me on Twitter. First ten people to do that, uh, I will get it in touch with you. DM via Twitter and uh, and send you any any card you want. And uh, no, no strings attached. You just you just get whatever card card you want. And I'm, I'm here to spread to spread the love. Uh, so without further ado, let's uh, let's get into the unboxing. Got Gyarados here to bring us a little bit of luck. Let's open up these packs. I forgot my trash bin. That's all right. Just create a mess. Yeah, I'll bring out the uh, the card sleeves as well, so you can see those a little bit better. Open them up. Try to sleeve as we go, but uh, you know, hopefully not take up too much take up too much time with that. Yeah. So the yeah, these are the card sleeves right here. Look how awesome they look. So metal. I thought he had guns at first, but then I'm like, well, it's Magic the Gathering, so that doesn't make any that doesn't make any sense. So he's just got like these smoking daggers, this cool metal skeleton, demonic looking guy. Really awesome. So hundred of those. Let's get those get those ready off to the side. Come on. Come on. Throw it on the ground. Don't care. So this is officially the first unboxing video, of course, you know, probably late in terms of overall magic, uh, magic the gathering because, um, you know, I don't have, don't have connections and perks like a lot of other, um, pro players, streamers, unboxers, uh, you know, what, what have you, um, whoops, a daisy Throwing this the setup as, as we're going along here. Don't want that. All right. Let's move this off to the side. Pack by pack. The no time spiral is coming out. I got some, uh, I got some boosters on pre-order. Sorry for the shaky camera. Let's fix that. Mm, done. All right. Uh, um, what was I saying? 
Oh yeah, get some pre-orders for uh, Time Spiral. Uh, the boxes are pretty expensive uh, overall, but I think, you know, I've seen some uh, boxes getting ready ready to go. Uh, I got three, I pre-ordered some th three booster packs, so I'll, I'll probably tack those on to another unboxing that, I, that I'm going to do. Uh, I got I got plenty of other boxes that I've been looking around trying to find. Uh, so let's open up this first one. Oh my god, this is so exciting. I haven't opened up a card pack in years, like since probably Pokemon trading card game. And you can tell because uh, I'm, I'm fucking flubbing it up already. Uh, I don't know the, the special order for these, I don't, you know, to uh, keep the special cards off to the side. Okay, so here we go. The things are... Sp one of our special art cards. I'm oh, sorry. All right. No feel same call. Okay, so we got some lands. Story Seeker. Warhorn Blast. Esker Shield Mate. Funeral Longboat. See, this is how I want to go. Viking Funeral Style. Firstborn son better be a skilled archer so he can set it, you know, set my boat on fire while I go away. Invoke the Divine is a card I like a lot. Short artifact or enchantment gain four life. Good for, you know, if you have those cards that when you gain life, they lose life, or if you're just trying to build a good uh, bunch of life. Giant's Grasp. Giant's Amulet. Giant's Amulet. Enter the battlefield may pay. Three and a blue. If you do create four four blue giant wizard creature token, then attach giant's amulet to it. Okay, so just good artifact quick card for you for you giant decks out there. Bearded axe and my axe. Quick choose gets plus plus one for each dwarf equipment and or vehicle you control. All right, good good for dwarf decks there. That's a big one. Calamity bear. And, okay, so so we're getting a lot of good. Uh, giant deck cards here for people who are, who are into giant decks. Glittering Frost, Enchant Land, Enchanted Land is Snow. Nice. And whenever Enchanted Land is tapped for mana, the controller adds an additional one mana of any color. That's pretty nice. Pretty nice. Cal Carter Doom Scourge. Shiny. Carter Doom Scourge enters the battlefield. Sorry. Until your next turn, creatures your opponent's control attack each common if able and attack a player other than you if able. An attacking creature dies, each opponent loses one life, and you gain one life. Oh, it's so badass artwork. How awesome that is. Chris Ron. Good. Nice stuff. These fit pretty nicely. Boom. There we go. All right, let's put this off this side. Next, oh man, there's so many packs in here. Oh man, I love it. I love it. Must be our art cards. Vault robber. Oh, there you go. I see. Oh, it's even got uh, number numbers on the back, so you know what you have collected. Okay, so that. I see what we're doing out with these art cards. Hey, these are up for grabs too. If you want, if you want one of these art cards, put it on there. Let me know. Uh, so the first one was uh, Frost Auger. Frost Auger. All right, here we go. Glacial Floodplain. Sculptor of Winter Elfrog. Glittering Frost again. Gasper Sentinel. Forging the tie right sword. That's really cool. Dagger card. Dwarven hammer. Also awesome. Fearless liberator. Warchander scald. Tapped if it's enchanted or equipped. Create two one red dwarf berserker creature token. Yeah, a lot of stuff for dwarf cards. I wonder if that's just because of the... Um, set boosters that i got i've been playing a lot of angel deck right now which you know i, I kind of want to post some videos on that i have somehow stumbled my way into uh diamond rank in two months i've never played the game before first first time i ever played all right saw it coming oh really good card counter target spell 
and you can foretell it as well. Awesome, awesome card. Realm Walker, Changeling. Priest of the Haunted Edge. Eric. Dread Rider, exile a creature card from your graveyard. Target opponent loses three life. Creature Spirit Knight. Dread Rider. Cool. It's gonna be fun trying to sort all these cards. There. Next packet. Oh, I know this one's revitalize. There you go. Revitalize. All right, here we go. Here's our land. Rhinewood Falls. Raven Wings. Your creature gets plus one has flying as a bird. Raiders Carve. Pretty good card. I like that. Giant Ox. Vehicles. Use toughness rather than its power. Got this creature. I think there's something you should use. Use vehicle card. Yeah, cruise vehicles uses toughness rather than its power. That's okay. That's that's good. I, I really haven't had a grasp on vehicle cards at all. That's really something I have not gotten into. I've really seen anybody play them either. So. Uh, leave a comment if you if you know um you know how those things are used i i i've only G giant ox is one i've come across and like there's one other one and that's about it for packs that i open in uh in arena all right revitalize hey look at that that match it there you go got the card to match the art there you go how nice is that doom scar oracle Good way to gain life got a spell deck or tell it as well Iron Verdict deals five damage to target tap creature. Avalanche Caller targets no land control because four four elemental creature hexproof and has haste until end of the turn. Still land. Basalt Ravager. King Narfi's Betrayal. I just love the artwork on this card. The way, like, it, how awesome. The Norse, like it's just it's just so, I feel like authentic to the to Norse art artwork and armor craft, Look all all that artwork in in the guy's armor. Exile, middle four cards may exile a creature or planeswalker card from your grave, graveyard until end turn. May cast spells from among cards exiled with King Garfi's betrayal. It may spend mana as over mana of any color to cast those spells. This is really awesome for mill decks and then just getting cards out onto the field. And you get you get two turns out of, out of the casting too, so that's one blue black. Certainly an elementalist. This will cause cast this spell over the giant card from your hand or pay two. Eight eight. Damn. Freaking sh and mist of Lajara flash card. Enchant creature or vehicle. Enchanted creature gets minus three minus zero. So a little hollow enchantment card there. I haven't seen this one. Sweet. So I'm only uh, sleeving the uh, hollow cards right now, but whatever, if the card you want is not hollow or e even the artwork cards, I will still put it in the card sleeve uh, for you. So uh, don't worry about that. You get, you still get that cool sleeve out of it. All right, here we go. Artwork, Funeral Longboat. All right, basic, uh, no land, forest. Battlefield Raptor, flying first strike. I feel like all the explosions behind it. Like, see like a fighter fighter jet Raptor. Oh, Star Wars Vacuary, here we go. Okay, I hope we get some more angel cards because, oh man, I just love, I love every single one of them. They're so cool to me. Um, so this one is, you know, it's a th it's a three three white, but you can if you have cards that you're willing to exile from your graveyard, you can just pay a one a one uh one white to get them out there. So that's pretty good way to get it out early if you have uh, some 
fodder in your graveyard. Starheim Corsair, okay, nice. Artifact and Chamber Spells cost one less to cast, nice. Raven Wings, again. Raiders Carve, seen that. Giant Ox again. Armed and Armored, vehicles you control become artifact creatures on the turn. Use Dwarf control, attach another quick control to it. All right, so that's very specific. Colossal Plow. Here we go. Yeah, I'm getting a lot of vehicle cards. See, I, I never get these in Arena, but I'm, I guess I have the Ox and I have this in Arena. Maybe that's all there is out of Cal time. Um, add three white mana and gain three life until end of turn. You don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Yeah, this is... I, I got to learn how, how to play these. They, maybe I'm missing out on something, but I just haven't seen... I haven't seen anybody play in any of their decks. Our heroes. Oh, this... Uh, I've seen this before. Yeah, it's pretty good. Pretty good. Oops. Ooh, look at this. Oh, I wish this was hollow. Look at that art. Frigid Judge of Valor. You cast your second spell. You turn like a top three cards library. Put them into your hand and the rest into your graveyard. Oh, that's so cool. Oh, what a su sweet artwork there. That's really cool. Holographic Funeral Longboat. So we've had that before. Now it's just, uh, it's just hol hollow there. And a legendary, oh, legendary artifact. Rumming Stone. Spells you control have Ripple 4. May play a spell. You may reveal the top four cards of the library. You may play any reveal cards with the same name as the spell without paying their mana costs. With the rest of the bottom of the library. Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'm going to sleeve this uh, Virgin Judge of Valor just because, man, that art is just super cool on it is this how the card normally is I don't, I don't even know i don't even know that's awesome on my mouth on the mic cool and next Yeah, welcome to the arena. Yeah, arena's cool. Make sure you play it. It's awesome. It's fun. What do we got? Ooh. Immersturm Skookairn. Man, some of these words are just freaking insane. All right, got a mountain. Dusk Wielder. Berserker. Who's one life? Game of life. Or a boast. Okay, cool. Mask, Vandal, Changeling. Part is every creature type. Oh. Demonic Gifts. Because you get plus two and zero games with the dies, turn it off on his control. Right. Home is Faithful, Lifelink. As each player mills three cards. Death Nail Berserker. Elder Fang Disciple. Vega the Watcher, legendary creature. That spell from anywhere other than your hand, draw a card. You. Gates of Isfel. Draugr ne Necromancer. A lot going on with this card. On token creature, an opponent controls with die. Exile that card with an ice counter on a set. Cast spells from uncards. Oh man, a lot going on here. You can read it. Read it on your own. Boreal Outrider. And Frost Peak Yeti. Can't be blocked this turn. Play one in a snow. Okay. Not bad. Not bad. I think the big cards, the big card, I should say, going for Cal time right now is, uh, now oh, what's it called? I can't remember the name of it. God of Lies, whatever it is. That. Got our art card. Gurgi, God of Storytelling. Oh, right off the bat, Hollow Swamp. Kind of a waste of a hollow. Code Spell Cleric is Vigilance. 
Frostpire Arcanist. Glimpse the Cosmos. Agar the Freezing Flame. Got both fire and ice. Certainly and Frostpire. Invasion of the Giants. There you go. More giant stuff for you. Scribe 2. Draw a card. Feel a giant card. You do. Invasion Giant deals 2 damage. Next giant spell you cast costs 2 less. Fire Giant's Fury. Power up th those uh, giants that you have. Plus 2, plus 2, and Trample. Ice. Big Breaker Kraken, or Unleash the Kraken. 8-8, eight, eight. holy, wow, I don't think I've seen this card yet. 10 to blue. One less to cast for each Snowblade you control. Okay, so that's how you get that down, get him out, little, get him out earlier. This Breaker Kraken is about for artifacts and creatures target opponent controls. Don't untap during that, okay. Get a little extra tap there. Hinge Gate Pathway. Oh, and put that on the back. Mistgate pathway. Get a little white, a little blue. Pilfering Hawk. Draw a card, discard a card. Kind of like, so you get a cycle with the snow ability, but without actually cycling. We got Feed the Serpent. Two, two black, exile target creature or planeswalker. Uh, do they do swamp? Yeah, why not? It's hollow. Keep them pretty. Keep the cards pretty. Now, if I'm coming across any cards that are supposed to be exciting, and I'm not getting excited about it, uh, I just blame my lack, lack of knowing what I'm supposed to be looking for. I kind of looked up the, the top cards that are selling right now. Um, I haven't seen any... Oh, come on. I haven't seen any of them yet, so I don't, I don't think I'm missing out on too much here. Unless oh, there's something here that you need for your deck. Ooh, that's a good card. I wish I got the actual card. Tigrid's Lantern. That's a really... Or Tigrid got a fright. It's both one on the back. That's a really good card. Let's, let's see. Maybe, maybe it's a good omen for something. All right, got planes. Vitalize. Let's go Oracle again. Iron Verdict. Good spell Cleric. Yielded Assault Cart. Another artifact vehicle. Forge a sword again. Dwarven hammer. All right, a lot of repeats. Fearless liberated. Did we get this one? I think we did. Glorious protector. Angel cleric. Flash flying. Blizzard brawl. This thing is open. This thing has kicked my ass so many times in arena. Three more snow permanents. The creature control gets plus one and gains indestructible on the turn. Then those creatures fight each other. And that's crazy. Woo! Showdown of the Scalds holographic. Okay. First of all, artwork. Sweet. Exile the top four cards. Okay, we, we, yeah, we've seen this one again. But again, hey, holographic now. So, very nice. Very nice. Something you're looking for your deck or for your collection. Again. Subscribe to the channel. Follow me on Twitter. And it's yours. So many more to go. I feel like I've seen this one before. This is Coma Cosmos Serpent. Here we go. Swamp. Eed the Serpent, non holographic this time. Jarl of the Forsaken. Pretty good. Way down. With a crown. Nico defines. Spies Destiny. Gain two life for each foretold card you own in exile. Okay. Add a white and blue. Spend this mana only to foretell cards. 
and target card with foretell from your graveyard to your hand. All right. A lot of foretell combos going on here. Kaya's Onslaught. All right, that's a, a little cover art girl on the other boxes. Card creature gets plus one, plus one, gains double strike until the end of the turn. Inga Rune Eyes. Draw three. Draw three cards, or three more creatures died this turn if she dies. Nico Aris. All right, Legendary Planeswalker. There we go. Nico Aris turns the basket, create X shard tokens. Up to one target creature you control can't be blocked this turn. When the creature deals damage this turn, return to the owner's hand. Nico's Aris deals two damage to target tapped creature for each card you've drawn this turn. Create a shard token. Seek a god of the tree. One four has vigilance and one mana of any color. I guess this is some alternate artwork. Got enchantment on the back. Oh, well, I guess we'll read the other one before. Ah, oh, man, I'm, I'm screwing this up. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Spoilers. And what's on the back? We have the Prismatic Bridge. Oh, this is actually a really nice card. In your upkeep, reveal cards from the top of your library until you reveal a creature or planeswalker card. Put that card onto battlefield and rest on the bottom of your library in a random order. Prismatic Bridge. Seek a God of the Tree. Really sweet and cool. Uh, make sure we uh, sleeve that one. Frostbeak Yeti. Can't be blocked this turn. You pay the cost. And Glittering Frost. Snow Enchantment Aura. Enchant land. Okay, this is what we had before. That's just holographic. Cool. Anybody see gameplay for uh, Magic Legends? It's a new video game coming out that pretty much just looks like Diablo, except you're playing with... Magic the Gathering heroes and decks and all that. Looks pretty decent. It's going to be free to play, so I'm just cautious about what the, uh, you know, pay-to-play costs are going to be because you, have, you can pay for upgrades, deck cards, you know, things along those lines. So you can, uh, I guess, play online a little bit better. Uh, Blizzard Brawl, our card. Cool. I right, got Island. God's Hall Guardian. Look at that cute little cat. Get him. Meow, meow, meow. Vigilance Fortel. 3 6. Ooh, five, and a, 5 and a white. Wings of the Cosmos. Target creatures plus 1, plus 3. Gains flying until unturn. Untap it. Oh, guys, I'm flying. This is supposed to happen. I don't know how to fly. Snakeskin Veil. Ravenous Lindworm. Enters battlefield, you gain four life. Deer. Those deer are. Oh, that one's already in his mouth. They had no chance. They had no chance. Dual Strike. Giant's Grasp again. Giant's Amulet. That one already, I guess. Fury Axe, saw that one too. Osmos Charger, what a pretty horse. Flash, Horse Spirit, Flash Flying for telling cards. Every hand costs one less and can be done on any player's turn. Whoa. Carter Doom Scourge, all art. Oh, that's pretty sweet. All right, Cosmos Charger. And Cinderheart Giant Holographic, Beastly Boy. And our giant eyes deals seven damage to the creature and opponent ch controls chosen at random with trample as well. Giant berserker, he's crazy, Rawr, crazy guy. Sweet alt art in there, too. I mean, if I could pull an alt art holographic, that would be one of the coolest looking things. First row, last one. We've got three more rows of these. Three more rows. Holy crap. There's a ton of cards. I'm super excited about that. Super excited. All right, what do we got? Ooh, ooh, a little hero art card, I think. Got Dogged Pursuit. Oh, no, that was... I know she's a hero, but not that one. All right, Highland Forest. That's all Guardian again. Wings of the Cosmos. This is the same pack. Come on. Identical three cards. 
that wasn't in the last pack, was it? Oh, God, I don't remember. It's going to happen. It's going to happen. Got to be happy with what you get. All right, here we go. New one. Arachnal form. Chant creature. Chant creature is plus two, plus two. And it's every... Ooh, has reaches every creature type. Cool. War Chanter Scald. Thought coming. In Search of Greatness. I'm looking for greatness. We're going to upkeep it. Cast Permit Spell from your hand. with Converted Man Cost of one, equal one plus highest Converted Man Cost among other permanents you control without paying its mana cost. If you don't, scry one. Osima, God of the Voyage. All right, so there's a God card right there for you. Oh, man, a lot of text. Beginning of your upkeep, you may exile Cosima. If you do, it gains whenever a land enters battlefield under your control. If Cosima is exiled, you may put a Voyage counter on it. If you don't, return Cosima to the battlefield with X plus one plus one counters on it and draw X cards where X is number of Voyage counters on it. Okay, what's on the back? The Omen Keel. Review control deals common damage to a player that player exiles that many cards from the top of the library. It play lands from among those cards for as long as they remain exiled. Crew one. All right, Spirit of Aldegard. Woo! Coma Cosmos Serpent Holographic. That's pretty sweet looking. Spell well, can't be countered. You know, you shall keep create a 3 3 blue serpent creature named. Almost coil. Sacrifice another serpent. Choose one. Tap target permanent. Abilities can't be activated this turn. Night. Common Cosmo Serpent gains indestructible. Well, end of turn. Nice. Nice. Woo! Cadaverous Knight. It's, what is up with this one? The border. Supposed to be like that? I guess so. Sorry for getting close to the mic there. Summon Knight. Flanking whenever a creature without flanking is assigned to block this creature, my creature gets minus minus one until end of turn. Generate. Wow. Push on the back of the stuff. Uh let me know if this is this is good in the comments. Uh I've never seen this. It's also got a different symbol right there. Not the Caldheim symbol that we're used to seeing. Throw a little sleeve on that. Throw a little sleeve on that. I got an alt art, didn't I, too? No, it was just the only kill. I'll leave it. I'll just leave it as it is. Second row. Let's see what we got. I'm totally lost. Oh, there we go. Vega the Watcher. Alternate art. All right, Arctic Tree Line. Dragger Recruiter is boast ability. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Nice. Dogged Pursuit. Hey, that's our card we just had. Dread Rider, Spirit Knight. <laughs> Priest of Haunted Edge. Rune of Might. Weather Rune Stone. Rune of Speed. Good equipment card. Sorry, enchantment. Or a rune. Rune Crown. Secret God Favor. Alt Art. Very nice. Very nice. Flash for strike protection from all God creatures. Takes up to one target attacking or blocking creature. The secret leaves the battlefield. Pretty nice. I think this one I'm about. Oh, another altar. Inga Rune Eyes altar. An Ice Hide Troll. Gains plus two, zero, and gains indestructible to end a turn for two snow lands. You tap it. Cool. Going through. A lot more of these sleeves than I thought I was going to. Again, if there's anything you like here, it can be yours. Just for free. Just subscribe. Follow me on Twitter. Very easy. Doesn't cost you anything at all. You don't have to write a sob story in the comments or anything. Just, just follow. Just follow and subscribe. That's all you need.
All right, who do we got here? Maja, Redigard, Protector. Alt. All right, Alpine Meadow. Arachnoform. Ice Eye Troll. Broken Wings. Any artifact enchantment or creature with flying. Very versatile. Not Fold Recluse. Got reach. Look at this pop You first strike and a boast. Armed and armored. Also plow. Again. Built assault cart. Again, these vehicle cards. Under fumarole. Is that a word? Fumarole? No sorcery. Deals four damage to target creature planeswalker. Add any color for each snow spent to cast a spell. Until in the turn, you don't lose this mana as steps and phases end. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Not bad. Woo, Hailstorm Valkyrie, Flying Trample. Gets plus two, plus two with two snow until the end of the turn. Pretty nice. Village Rights Holographic. Draw two cards, Sacrifice Creature. Plowing through it, getting through it. Loving every sing loving every minute of this. It's so much fun. Oh, this guy. Full span dragon. That's a pretty good card. Alright. Ice tunnel. Ice eye troll. Broken wings. Blues. Feels pup. Alright. Mammoth growth. Target creatures plus four, plus four until end of turn. And you can foretell it. Charles pack me. Feel draw a card. Foretell again. Vega the Watcher again. Varagoth blood sky sire. Death touch and a boast. Target player searches the library for a card, then shuffles the library and puts that card on top of it. Nice. Righteous Valkyrie, uh, if you have an angel deck, you need this card. You need at least four of these. This thing stacks so well. Another angel or cleric enters battlefield under control. You gain life equal to that creature's toughness. Nice. As long as you have at least seven life or more than your starting life total, so 27. Creature you control, get plus two, plus two. Gotta love that. So if you have a bunch of these, say you have like three Righteous Valkyries, this, this, all, stacks, this all stacks together. If you have the seven life or more, Plus two, plus two, so you get, it's a plus six, plus six overall for all, all your creatures. Love this card. Ice Eye Troll. Story Seeker Holographic. And Command Beacon. Card. Go for your commanders. Sacrifice Command Beacon, put your commander into your hand from the command zone. Nice. I notice only some of these decks come with this uh, little, you know. Either Magic Gathering Online or Arena postcard thing. Not all of them have it. Oh, there's tokens on the back. Oh, shoot. I'm not even paying attention to that. It's a spirit token. That one doesn't have one. Hold on. Okay, here we go. I got to keep that. They got some tokens on the back. A Human Warrior on that one. Dwarf Berserker. We need those cards. Why am I not paying attention? All right, that doesn't have anything. I thought they were usually double-sided. Yeah. Nah, not that one. All right, yeah, let's keep these tokens. I don't want to don't need that. Oh, come on. Get on that side. Sorry. Oh, treasure token. Cool. All right. Got my token pile now. Why don't you guys tell me? I have to pay attention to that. Got to pay attention to that. Whoa. Tripping balls on this card. Woo! 
Drop the acid. Seek a god of the tree. <laughs> All right. Forest. Old rights. Infernal pet. E Raise the Draugr. Got a choice here. Turn target creature card from your graveyard to your hand. Turn two target creature cards. A share creature type from your graveyard to your hand. One black. That's pretty good. Carful Kennel Master. Yeah, man. He's got the dogs. Zombie Berserker. Skull Raid. Yum, 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 yum. Target Bunker Stars. Two cards. If you're in two cards of this card, this way you draw cards equal to the difference. Grim Draugr. Ruin of Flight. Ruin of Sustenance. Show down the Scalds again. Nice heart. Frost Augur. And run him a Holographic. That creature gets plus three, plus three, and gains trample at the end of the turn. Crushing these cards. There's more to every story. Oh, story.com. We got. Ice a Manolith. It's your boy. Vorinclex, Monstrous Raider. He's a beast. He's a beast of a card. All right, holographic uh, snow mountain. Mammoth growth. Earl's pack mate. Struggle for Skemfar. Guardian Glade Walker. King Harold's Revenge. Horizon Seeker. Fortune Tyrite Sword. Dwarven Hammer. Dark Boar Pathway. And the Boar Pathway. Replicating Ring. Ooh. Ooh. And Dual Strike Holographic. Got a lot of commons for those. Okay, not too much there. Not too much. That's all right. Keep the hollows nice. Even, even the mountains. Even the mountains. Gotta keep the mountains pretty. Bat stacks. Now there's a little preview for what's coming up. I have another uh, Kaldheim box draft uh, draft booster box. Uh, Core 2021 box as well uh, as a pre-release box. I don't think there's any difference between the pre-release box. It's just they came out. You know, if you're special enough to get one, you got one. Um, and then I found a gift edition Zendikar uh, box as well. Thought it was pretty nice. Just found it at Target randomly. So I'm like, you know what? I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to get it. Ooh, this one has a little signature on it there. Ross Auger. Christy Belanescu. Looks like... Uh, Got her signature imprinted on there, if you're a fan. Being that. Anybody uh, in, in, in NFTs? All the hotness right now. Lots of Fjord. Struggle for Skimfar. Guardian Glade Walker. King Harold's Revenge. Horizon Seeker. Grizzle Outrider. Oh, let's go. Let's go, Jim. Elderleaf Mentor. Roots of Wisdom. Gates of Istfell. Blood on the Snow. Snow Sorcery. Frostbite. Ah! Onol. Holographic. Instant counter target artifact or enchantment spell. Kia! Fuck your hammer. Yeah, so NFTs all the rage right now. And apparently, I guess they work. They're being applied to magic artwork and maybe some other painting card game artwork, which is like, 
I don't know how ownership works with it. Does the artist own the art? Is it Wizards of the Coast that, that owns it? If it's online, who really gets that? I don't know. It's just crazy how blockchain blockchain is being applied to um, to art, artwork the way it is now. Crazy to me. We got here. Port of Carfell. All right, planes. Draugr, thought thief. Thought thief. That's tough. Thought thief. Run ashore. Oh, no. Strategic planning. What's, what's he planning? Wait, wait, hold up. I have an idea. Missile Vajara. Rhyme Barrow Intruder. Better Shield Warrior. Frenzied Radar. Look at this guy. Crazy. Crazy looking. Very activated boast ability. Put a plus one plus one counter on Frenzy Raider. Nice. Usher of the Fallen. Those create one white. Yeah, see? Get, get a boast deck. I haven't seen too many decks that are based on just boast alone. That's it's kind of difficult to do. Over the all form. Gross looking. Berg Strider. Stride the Bergs. Stride the Bergs. Woo! Stalwart Valkyrie. Holographic. Went over her before. Pretty sweet. And Waste. Basic Land. Be whatever you want it to be. Very cool, very cool. So many more to go. Now, before I was doing, while I was recording, I got a phone call on my iPhone, so there might be a little break that you saw before. You know, that's what video editing software is for, right? Where well, they have a dwarf berserker. Cool, 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 cool. Toralf, God of Fury. All right, Sulphurus Meyer, Grizzle Outrider, Elderleaf Mentor, Roots of Wisdom, Sculptor of Winter, Glittering Frost, uh, Aspira Sentinel, Dusk Wielder, I think that's new, Fearless Liberator, Battle of Frost and Fire. Pretty nice. Uh, Frost of Fire deals four damage to each non-giant creature, each planeswalker. Okay, nice. That's four damage overall to everything that's not a giant. Scry three. Whenever you cast a spell, will convert a mana cost five or greater. This turn, draw two cards, and then discard a card. Egg or the Freezing Flame, Alt Art. Oh, nice. Pretty cool. King, Herald's Revenge, Holographic. So I'm pretty much stuck where I am right now in Magic the Gathering Arena. Um, I never expected to push my way to to Diamond Humble Brag um, in that amount of time, but I guess you know, at night you just throw on the you know, put it on the laptop, play a couple rounds before you go to bed, and you know, next thing you know it, uh, you know, you, you get you get enough wins. But now the meta is starting to uh, starting to beat me up, and I don't have the cards to play the meta. Or, uh, you know, not really too willing to pay the money right now just to get to that. Uh, I'm just enjoying it for the fun it is. But awesome looking piece of artwork. Born Class Marshall's Radar. All right. Right right, Swamp. Sculptor of Winter. Living Frost. Nico Defies Destiny. Kaya's Onslaught. King of Rune Eyes. Rune of Might. By the Rune Stone. Rune Speed. Arnie Broken Brow. Um, I want to get that checked out. Legendary Creature, Human Berserker. Shimmer Drift Veil. Raven Forum, Holographic. 
and Llanowar Reborn. Very cool. I guess the big question is, what other card unboxings am I going to do? I don't know. Uh, because it is impossible to find, you know, Pokemon being the, big, the, the other big one. Impossible to find cards right now. Um, I'm sure I don't have to tell you because everybody's trying to find them. In fact, I went to Target last week, just had to get new jeans. And you know you walk around the store because you know you got, you got time, you got time to do it. You just walk around, and I see like, oh look at that, broken brow guy, artwork. And I see like ten people, uh, lined up by you know past the electronic section. Uh, I'm guessing by the toys. I'm like, don't tell me this is what I think it is. Find the monster. Kind of new. Um, and it was exactly what we thought it was. It was on. It was. A, it was a Tuesday morning, and they were in Target, um, waiting for Pokemon cards to restock. I couldn't believe it. Just ten, ten people. No kids. No kids. Behold the multiverse. Behold. And when I looked over at the card section just to see what was going on over there, um. It was Pokemon cards were completely, completely out, and they were they were standing there waiting um, for them to to restock. It's a pretty good card, by the way. Uh, Bloodline Pretender. Use a creature type whenever the creature chosen type enters the battlefield under control. Plus, plus one, plus one counter. Bloodline Pretender. So if you got one, if you got one type of creature, or mostly one type of creature that your deck, you could, uh, you could boost this guy up pretty well. They walk a ritualist, and then another thing that surprised me was. Besides the Pokemon cards, that um, baseball cards were completely out as well. I didn't think there was a baseball cards research, but I, there there is. Um, one of my friends sent me a uh, link of the guy the guy's name on YouTube. That's kind of investing in them. I forgot I forgot what his name is. Um, I like this card, this card artwork, by the way. It's really nice. Um, I forgot his name, but it's just pushing card investments and all that. Cole the Forge Master, legendary. Look at this thing. This is like a friggin' MCU movie cover. So many things going on with it. Whenever another non-token creature you, you control dies, enchanted equipment turns on his hand. Uh, creature tokens you control that are enchanted equipped get plus one, plus one. Have you seen this one already? I really like the artwork on this one, though. Driver Necromancer, holographic. That's it. Uh, but yeah, the baseball cards really threw me for a loop. I couldn't believe that. I, I didn't think people were back into collecting baseball cards um, like that before, or le like it was before. Or back. I feel like these collection things happen in waves, though. Well, you know, depending on the reason, uh, you know. I'm not 100% sure, but, you know, baseball cards, I feel like there's been like four, four or five waves of it, depending on, you know, what rookie card was sold for a crazy amount of money um, and all that. Um, something else that's was like that we got here. Yorn, God of Winter. Um, ooh, Woodlink, right off the bat, Woodlink has him holographic. Masked Vandal. Uh, something else that was that was like that was um, comic books. Got a lot of new cards here. Comb was faithful because that's had like two or three big waves. I feel like at least at least two because the eighties were uh, really brought about comic books again in a really positive light. Really got got past the bronze silver era and the bronze era of, of comic books and then with things like uh watchmen and dark knight returns coming out uh made them much more serious pieces of of literature all right this new new event or sorry new enchantment saga bears of lijara artwork is just so cool 
Props to Randy Galagos. Big cards. Canopy Tactician. And Starnheim Corsair Holographic. Cool. Um, yeah, after that, that 80s boom of comics, people were into collecting them again. And so the comic book industry, or the or sales were just good. So the comic book industry tried to capitalize on that with a bunch of limited editions, collector's editions, first editions, you name it, type of um, comics, you know, to sell just to, you know, to sell more comics that way and, you know, try to make them limited release, you know, as we're, you know, you, you probably know with cards as well, there's limit, you know, there's special edition decks for uh, Magic the Gathering, oh, got a shard, um, things along those lines. And then the market just became so saturated with those that uh, it kind of declined the overall. That's really cool. There's like, help me. Help me, please. We got Colvori, God of Kinship. Yeah, and then there was just like this strange crash with comic books that didn't matter. And then where the next big boom was, um, was after the first Spider-Man movie came out. And then people became really interested in Spider-Man again, again, and wanted, you know, collectors wanted the comic books, and that's like when the, you know, you know, the first, you know, the first comic that Spider-Man was in, you know, it's not Spider-Man number, is it Spider-Man number one? I don't remember exactly the name. It was like sold for like a million dollars or something, but beforehand it really didn't sell for too much. Like that guy, uh, that whole Storage War shows, who remembers that? What a stupid show that was. Um, the one, the one guy, uh, I think his name was Daryl. That's how he got into the storage stuff and um, got a good amount of money because he found a storage unit that had a ton of comic books in it. And hey, here we go. Tigger God of Fright. This is a really nice card. And your creature God has menace. Your opponent sacrifices non token permanent discards a permanent card. You may put that card from a graveyard onto the battlefield under your control. And then on the back, we have Tigger's Lantern. We have a player loses three life unless he sacrifices an land land permanent or discard a card. This could really throw people off. Really nice card. Let's see, holographic is, and then we'll continue the story. Coma's faithful. All right, not that great. Um, yeah, he found a storage unit with, with like a ton of comic books, and he sold them. I don't know something in the hundreds of thousands of dollars, and then. He like went back and then like after the the, the Spider-Man boom, uh, if it, it, he missed out on like millions of dollars for the comic books that he had, which is is nuts. Which I guess is the you know the the basis behind the um, collection going on right now is people want to you know get the PSA ten uh, cards right off the bat. Get them praised and then just hold on to them until, you know, until they gain value. You know, everybody wants the shiny Charizard. It's Frenzy Raider. But because of that, you know, you just can't find them. And then people are scalping the boxes or just scalping the cards, period. And, you know, it's just bad. Scalping has gotten really bad this year. Overall, you can't, you know, the normal, the normal folk can't really get anything. Moray of the Frost. Legendary snow creature. A spine pillar. Narfi, Betrayer King. It's a pretty good card. The World Tree. Now this thing. Has anybody been world treed before? Because I have. I got the, I actually got comboed with, um, I forget what the other card is called, but so pretty much, yeah, as you can see, sacrifice the world tree, search your library for any number of God cards, put them on the battlefield, then shuffle your library. Then there's that other card that makes every card in your deck, every creature type. So that includes God cards. So if you're able to pull, you know, use that card, pull world tree have enough you know all those lands to, or the mana to sacrifice it 
and you literally just put your entire deck on on, on the field. It happened to me. <laughs> I was I wasn't even mad. I was impressed. Right, Clearing Frost and Brian Barrow Intruder. Oh, great. I haven't been getting awesome. Unfortunately, I've not been getting great hollows. Yeah, I was really impressed when I got World Treed. Troll Warrior. Troll in the dungeons. Got an RP Betrayer Kings or card. All right. Rhymewood Falls. Elderfang Disciple. Feed the Serpent. Feed me. Jarl of the Forsaken. Way down. With a crown. Dragon Recruiter. Dogged Pursuit. Eats of Isfil. Cosmos Elixir. Nice card. Good card. I like it. I like, I like using this card a lot. Maja Bredegard Protector. The creature goes plus one, plus one. When land enters battlefield, under control, create a one, one. White human warrior creature token. Nice. Good card. Alt art. Shepherd of the Cosmos. Holographic. All right. This is a pretty nice card. Nice. Get the alt art sleeved up too. You just gotta love the borders. So much detail in that. Uh, Celtic, Nordic, not whatever, whatever. Cause Celtic or Nordic? I think I guess it's both. All right. All right, it looks pretty nice. Glittering Frost. All right, Forest. All right, a lot of the same stuff. A lot of the same stuff now. Sustenance, Battleship Warrior. Ooh. Field Aya, Ascendant Spirit. Ooh, no creature spirit. A lot of things going on here. You got Snow Cards. Since because Spirit War base power and toughness, two, three, two. Two and three. And Spirit is Warrior. Put a flying... Oh, I've seen this card before. If it is a Warrior, put a flying counter on it. It becomes a Spirit Warrior Angel. With base power and toughness. Four. Four. Send a Spirit is an Angel. Put two plus one plus one counters on it. And gains whenever this creature deals common damage to the player. Draw a card. So, this is a great first turn card. Uh, if you're running, running a blue deck. Because, uh, you know, blue, blue uh, you know, with Snowlands. Because you can just keep... You know, if you put... Just keep putting it down. It just sequentially powers it up. If you're not going to play anything else that turn, really cool, really cool. I like, I like, I like this card. North Betrayer Kings or Betrayer King and Mass Vandal Holographic. Almost to the end. Few more left. Few more left. Big bringer. All right, island. Depart the realm. E Mistwalker. Bridge of Vale. Cross Peak Yeti. Frostbite. Pilfering Hulk. It's mine now. Blizzard Brawl. Thirty Alder Guard. Tyver Kell, Legendary Planeswalker. Let's leave on that. Frostbeak Yeti. Carfill Kettlemaster, holographic. Not bad. And then Diagraph Captain. Zombie Soldier. Again, all these cards are up for grabs. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel. And follow me on Twitter, both Von He-Man. Um, and then I will 
you know, check out the order, whoever, you know, first come first serve, it's going to be, I will DM you on Twitter and figure out to get you whatever card you want in that sleeve, those sweet Caltime sleeves. Even if you want the token, you like collecting tokens, treasure tokens, so it's yours, it's yours. Woo-wee, look at this guy. I think I, you can take him, you can take him. Koma Cosmo Serpent. My money's on the guy with the axe. All right, Snowfield Sink hol Holographic. Dread Rider. Beast of Haunted Edge. Village Rights. Infernal Pet. Raised Draugr. Raise it up! Nico Defies Density. Kai's Onslaught. Kangaroo Eyes. Put down Sculpt. Blizzard Brawl and Horizon Seeker. Not bad. Kind of bad. Oops. Got two, but I only needed one. Three more left. <gasps> oh no! Oh no! Got Elf Warrior. Cool. Oh, another signed one. Vault Robber by. Slawomir Maniac. I know I butchered your, your name. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Glacial Floodplain. Speaking of butchering names, anybody see Bill Burr at the, uh, the Grammys? <laughs> Why would they set him up to do that? It's just so mean. Let, let's have him, you know, read out, what was it, like, best tropical Latin artists. You're going to get Bill Burr. The whitest guy in the world <laughs> from Boston. He can't, you know, he can't even he can't even say car correctly. Hey, that's nice, Toski Bearer Secrets. This thing has kicked my ass before. Can't be countered. Indestructible. Tax each combat if able and creature control deals combat damage to player. Draw a card. Good way to, you know, get uh, good card draws. We got Altar of Harold King of Skemfar. Nice, nice. So easy way to get Elf Warrior or the or, or a Tiver card. <clears throat> Very specific there. And Invoke the Divine Holographic. Good card, not worth a holographic. Come on. Give me something give me something better holographic. And enjoy this while it lasts. Only a few more. Only two more left. Only two more. Two more. We got here. Not Vold Slumber Mound. He looks like a Not Vold. All right, Alpine Meadow. Berg Strider. Darkin Seekers. Crazy looking guys. Golvane Pick. Tenderheart Giant. There you go. There's a real card right there. Boreal Outrider. Okay, we got some new cards this, this round. Elven Ambush. Harold King of, St of Skimfar. Goldspan Dragon. Nice. Nice. Good card. Flying Case. Whenever Goldspan Dragon attacks, becomes target of a spell, create a treasure token. Treasures you have at Sacrifice Artifact. Add two mana of any color. Two mana. Not just one, but two. Two mana. And for Avenger. Silvering Hawk. Woo! Virgia, Judge of Valor, Holographic Alt Art. Very nice. Very nice. That's a nice pull right there. This is it. Last one. It's the last one. Last one. A new kind of booster. Let's get something good. Last one always has to have something good, right? That, that's, that's, it's like a card opening wall that must be done.
There he is. There he is. Valky God of Lies. Maybe we'll get it. Maybe we'll get it. Tybalt. That's a, that's a Riverside. I couldn't remember the name. I was trying to so hard. All right, Mountain. Metal Master. Skull Raid. Draugr. Draugr Thought Thief. Run Ashore. He's planning. All right. Green of Might. Mm. Mystic Reflection. Cool. Look at all the sharks. Arc Channel Pathway. Or a Tide Channel Pathway. Sculptor of Winter. Let's see. Breakneck Berserker. Holographic. Not that great. Got haste. All right. Boom. That's all she wrote for this Caltime box of Magic the Gathering. So, as we said before, um, first 10 people to subscribe uh, to the channel, uh, as well as follow me on Twitter, uh, channels uh, Von He-Man on YouTube and uh, at Von He-Man on Twitter. Uh, I'm going to put any, any screen up and, uh, you know, all links will be in the description uh, to subscribe, follow, and then, you know, first 10 people to do so, you get any card of your choice. So just watch, watch the video, see if there's a card in here that, that you want, need for your deck, just want to collect, um, and I, I will, I'll send it your way um, via, via Twitter. Uh, so ho hope you had a great time. I, I, sh I sure did. I really like opening cards. Again, we got we got some more boxes coming, another, another Caldime draft box, uh, a Zendikar gift box, and then a Core 2021. Uh, so look for those coming up. Uh, and uh, hey, have a great one. Thanks for joining the happy hour.